Bhutan is a name given to the area by Westerners. It's actually called Drukyal, which is translated as the land of Thunder Dragon. If you know the Buddha culture, they are firmly against killing any animals. We're flying along in the helicopter and uh, it's this most amazing scenery with these huge mountains and green jungles. And as we go over this mountain cap and start descending, you see this amazing river. The Marcia are protected species. They are protected by the royal family. You are not allowed to fish for them. The river looks uh, very small from the helicopter, but look at it now. The sound of the river, the amount of water which is moving, and it's, it's quite dramatic. We walk up, and to my amazement, there's a shoal of Marcia 200 fish. It can't be this easy. With that amount of fish, how can you not catch a fish? And if you put any color scent in the water, these fish spook, they go. It's unbelievable. So I'm sure that we, we had to build bridges across uh, some of the little tributaries and set up the, the, the spot so that we knew exactly where the fish would be. And you watch, you almost imagine the scent going downstream. And they're gone. This river has serious monsters. We saw fish pushing 70, maybe even more pounds. The local tradition says that if you spot a long-tailed monkey uh, somewhere in the jungle or on the cliff, that's going to bring you good luck. So you see the fish, you walk up as quietly as you can, and you don't you, uh, move any rocks. You make the cast, you see it swing, and next minute this big mouth comes up and engulfs the fly. You're hooked up. It's a great experience when you hook one and you know that you've got a chance. And this fish heads off downstream. You're running after it, screaming and shouting. Yes, big one, big! Jumping like a mountain goat. Within 20 seconds, I'm, I'm spooled. Is it on? What? It's gone. What? Oh my God. Well, maybe you get lucky, but we lost fly lines. We were spooled. Very mentally challenging because you need to think about how you organize your one, the most important cast. I'm eating wild cucumber from the jungle. We are at the place where are 200 golden marks here. We went through them twice. Nobody hooked them. So the locals say that we need to drink their wine for good luck. Cheers. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. 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 I did it. <laughs> At most parts we partake in the, the local cuisine which uh, comprises of various roots and mushrooms and local beer and wine. <laughs> Having a helicopter was a real bonus. It allowed us to cover way more water, it allowed us to fish spots that haven't been fished before. First of all, you fish in a hot tropical jungle climate. But golden maxi are much more spooky, much more very fish. When you see them and you make your cast, in most cases you have one cast, maximum two casts. Make sure that your, your line is ready for the cast. Make sure you've got the right fly. Make sure that you've rinsed your fly downstream. Yeah. Yeah. 
holding a, a golden mossy on my hands for the first time was something that I thought I would never experience. Hey, look at the shapey face. Yes! <laughs> Hey, Sean. At every pool, you, you're meeting people. They like to come and show you their culture. You get amazed by these people's generosity. I mean, you, you know they don't come from much. You know they don't have much. You know, you, you get there and you experience the culture. You sit down, you have, have some of the local food. Cheers. Cheers. So we arrived to the uh, Bhutanese village, so we must try local vodka. Otherwise, it will not be polite. Go. <laughs> Perfect. No, it's excellent. The first foreigner in this village, our friends here, they are meeting, first time they are meeting the foreigners, they are seeing the Europeans. White people, we will say, we call it. First time in their life. Even though the trip was amazing in every way, and, and for me it was complete, we still hadn't got that monster that Ilya was after. Descending down into the valley, we could see that the river was blown out. Flew up to a, a spot which we had fished three days before, that we know had never been fished by anyone before. And there these fish are. Shoulder to shoulder, monsters. We saw the long-tailed monkey and he gave us a sign. And the Ilya went out and got his, his dream fish. And Ilya walks up and prepares himself and ready. Makes the perfect cast. Just in the quicker, the quicker flow and it swings through. And here comes this huge fish out and engulfs the fly. Don't break it, don't break it. And trying to see in this chocolate brown water where this fish is. And uh, it raises in the water column for a second and I have a swap. The last cast of the day and the biggest fish of the trip. Some of them didn't want to cooperate, the big ones, but some of them did. And um, I'm the happiest fisherman on earth. I caught this fish, which was over 50 pounds. That's the experience I will remember for the rest of my life. Bye-bye, thank you. Well, we were very, very fortunate to experience 10 days of uh, all the max here fly fishing. Going to these rivers and seeing the amazing amount of fish that there is there is because they're protected. The Brittany's rivers are a true example of how, if you give nature a chance, they can take care of themselves. Flying out from Bhutan over the uh, Tibetan mountains and out of your right window, you see Everest situated at 8,845 meters. Yeah, really humbling and incredible end to the trip. <laughs>